A tough morning for parents here in Waterbury, both on and off camera. People are telling us that they felt nervous about sending their kids to school today, but they also felt like they didn't really have a choice because they didn't want their child to miss out on precious class time. However, those parents can take some comfort in knowing that Waterbury police will have an extra presence both at Reed School today and also at Enlightenment School, which is just across the way here across the street. Plus, there will be no outdoor activities at either school. That is all because both will be in a shelter in place. Now, this all came about after school administrators found out about a social media threat last night, which did reference both Reed and Enlightenment schools. The two, again, just across the street from one another. Now, this isn't the only online threat to take place in Waterbury schools within the last two weeks or even really across Connecticut. We've seen threats at other schools as well. Now here in Waterbury just yesterday morning, Enlightenment and Reed schools had to be evacuated because of a bomb threat to Enlightenment school. Now police say the school was safely evacuated and that incident is under investigation. And then on last Tuesday, Kennedy High School went through the same thing. They were evacuated because of an anonymous bomb threat. Then again on Thursday, another threatening message was directed at Waterbury Arts Magnet School, which actually did lead to the arrest of a 17 year old. Please tell us the suspect is not a student at the school. And on Friday, I'm just learning from Waterbury Police that there was another threat at Crosby High School as well. So a lot going on here. We caught up with one mom this morning, excuse me, who again says she was torn on whether or not she wanted to send her son to school today. Take a listen to how she's feeling. Fearful. How about if this time it's not a hoax? because this is not something to play with, you know? But on the other hand, he needs to learn. He needs his education. So whoever's doing this should be held accountable because you don't play with people's lives like that. The Water Bay police tell us they are still investigating all of last week's incidents on top of the most recent on Monday and Tuesday of this week. So it's all under investigation as for if the threats here to read and enlightenment that were made last night were credible. That's also still under investigation. Police cannot tell us if that is something that is set in stone just yet. Of course, we'll be continuing to reach out to them and figure out what what they're finding in their investigation. We've also reached out to the school district to hear from them this morning as well. We'll keep you updated here and on Fox61.com. For now, though, we're live in Waterbury. Julia LeBlanc, Fox 61 News.